Now, the old waiter has never been rated all that highly on the uh, culinary scale, uh, spending most of their lives as, the, as, as they do, uh, just crawling about, waving their feelers around and uh, scaring the children. But we in the waiter party have never been put off by bad taste, so into the old bag of the go. Mmm, uh, couple of ticks in the, in the microwave. Get it, Mike? Right away. And there you have it, wetter burger. Americans are dying for them. Get into it, New Zealand. <laughs> Take a soap. <laughs> Any idea who put this here? It's a cake of soap. <laughs> Keeps your options open. Good evening and welcome to Speculum. And tonight, in an exclusive interview, we take you inside the horse's mouth. Well, switching racehorses is a way of life in Australia. But what of this side of the Tasman? Have big business and syndicate interests attempted the great switch a here? One man who is adamant that they have and do is shadowy North Island trainer Hayden Hyrola. Uh, Hayden. Good evening, fellas. Oh, Hayden, how did it all start? Oh, well, you see, I had this, this horse called Sir Piston. And, Sir uh, Piston? Yeah, this one, because he used to all that time. He eh? <laughs> didn't break down. Yes, and we have a photograph of Sir Piston here. Oh, yeah, there, there he is, the old fella. He's already knackered, you see. So I decided to substitute him for another runner, and I wait for AJ Ellerslie. Here is a picture of that other runner. Oh, yeah, there he is. I decided to call him Little Brown Zebra. But Hayden, it is a zebra. <laughs> this is what the stewards reckon to me. Mind you, I was on a plane to Brisbane by that stage. Mm -hmm. So what did you do then? Oh, I, did. I decided that the stripes brought a bit, a bit of a dead giveaway. So next time I decided to go for, go for an, an animal with a, a plain coat so as not to arouse the attention of the authorities. Mm. So you took Sir Piston? Yes, yeah, so I took Sir Piston and instead I raced this. I see. <laughs> did you by chance call it little brown greyhounds, did you? Yeah, uh, how'd you figure that out? Just a wild hunch. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, yeah, we're really good. You see, they went a bit haywire in the last two furlongs. Oh, well, obviously the stewards must have suspected something. Yeah, so I think it might have been about the time he, he bit the jockey and chased a rabbit through the member's car park. <laughs> they must put you in a bit of hot water. He did. I was in a spa pool in Brisbane by that stage. <laughs> yes. So, about this time, I suppose you decided to give the game away. Now, this time I decided to go for my greatest coup, the Wellington Cup. Ah. What did you replace a piston with this time? A stoat? Oh, gee, no. no. They're pretty strict on the Wellington Cup, and I thought middle brown stoat might have raised a few eyebrows. No, no, I entered to a piston, and instead I raced this. Oh, that must have fooled them, eh? <laughs> little brown pantomime horse. No, no, little brown brother Roy and the wife's cousin. <laughs> they bolted in by half a length. Here, yeah, mind you, the jockey got fined for excessive use of the whip. Now you live in fear of your life. Yeah, that's what all that dough and no way to spend it, eh? Ah, of course, the, the mob, the syndicate. No, the brother and the, the wife's cousin. Jeez, when they get out of hospital, I'm really going to be in poo speed. Ah, <laughs> I told that yeah. jockey to go easy. You Hayden, know? thank you. <laughs> Speculum. What we got, you know damn well. <laughs> there is nothing like a nuke, 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 nuke. Nukes are number one. Nothing better for a nuke than a 95 megaton. <laughs> there is nothing like a bomb, 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 bomb. Nothing you can name. Doesn't matter where it's from, you'll be vaporized. We got every kind of missile that a pirate ship should have. We deposit something fissile every time we flush the lab. We got nuclear reactors just as safe as they can be. 
How safe is that? Well, don't ask me. If the meat and the sandwich is the U.S. Navy, we got the bread and you guys are the gravy. There is nothing like a bomb, 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 bomb. It's the greatest blast. Blow you on the kingdom come. As those missiles come cruising past. There is nothing like a new, 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 new dig that mushroom cloud. Though the fallout makes you puke, you can swing with a nuclear crowd. Cause nothing sounds like a new. Save me with that missile. Makes you collapse like a new. Like a nuke, annihilate like a nuke. And so we say to all of you here, with answers you've got nothing to fear. So you'll survive with us. Give me five with us. We'll arrive with us. Nuke. Okay, guys, pull out. People who know treasures best have a word or two to say about new super-absorbent treasures. They definitely stay dry out longer. Yes, they do, and they fit you better all round. Uh, my new treasures are soft and comfortable where it really cuts. There's no chafing, and what's more, I can sit around the office and pee in them all day. Morning. Here. Here it comes. Uh -huh. There goes 20 bucks. You stupid cow. <laughs> you don't mean to say you're still paying an excess, do you? Who <laughs> asked you, sticky beak? You keep your nose out of this. Oh, shut up! You made a bloody money? <laughs> no excess household policy. Listen, sticky beak. You stick your face over this fence again and I'll flatten it. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you'll pay every claim in full. I'll do that! Well, let's see how they get on with that! <laughs> Come on, girl. Where are we going? Oh, Murray says it's somewhere really exciting. Morning, girls. Not milking again? No. Murray calls it the Freezing Works. The Freezing Works? Bye, girls. You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> and here to explain the confusing art of linguistics, your host, Esme Stalin. If you're a prospective Labour Party voters, having trouble understanding your leader, you're not the only one. David has been known to bewilder even himself with his dazzling range of rotund rhetoric. But with a bit of work and some concentration, it is possible to translate some of David's statements into relatively intelligible English. Let's try a couple. What can this statement possibly mean? But there will be represent we will be uh, having the most uh, exhaustive <laughs> conversations with our colleagues in caucus, and thereafter taking a recommendation to caucus. Translation, I will decide. <laughs> it is difficult, but let's try another. We're going to talk about jobs. We're going to talk about regional development. We're going to talk about investment in agriculture and horticulture. We're going to talk about transport. Translation, we are not going to do anything about it. What we are going to do is ask a close colleague of David's whether he can make head or tail of this gibberish. I think the leader of the Labour Party, David Longy, is one of the most superb presenters and communicators that we have ever had in New Zealand. Mm. And what does David think? I will never again win an election when it's not being held. Who knows? Who cares? Good night. If a nightingale could sing like you... Oh! 
hello, hello, hello. I am Jean-Claude, Jean-Claude, Claude, the French Minister of Le Tourisme. Do not be alarmed, only the makers of the South Pacific, that we are building the gigantic nuclear submarine base amid the palm fringe atolls of New Caledonia. Rather than be the Wenger Winer, look at the advantages, especially in the area of Le Tourisme. Remember, every mushroom cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> this winter, this could be you. Basking in the tropical warmth and sunshine of beautiful Numea, capital of Nuke Caledonia. <laughs> and while you're there, you'll want to stay at SubMed, the Pacific's newest and most unusual holiday resort. Soak up those soothing gamma rays in this plutonium paradise. Dance till dawn in the relative safety of our lead-lined disco, driven to frenzy by the throbbing beat of the Tamaray. Provided by SubMed's top band, the Tamar Radiation. And then there's the food. You'll find fish floating everywhere at SubMed. And what's more, they've been cooked for your pleasure actually in the ocean. You'll feel different after your holiday at SubMed. Come to our islands, you'll never be the same again. New Caledonia, it's a real task. We got the most powerful bottoms in the land to test the specs. David Long, Jonathan Hunt, Sir Rob Muldoon, Kerry de Camerwa. Les specs, les tough. As for the shares, les bums, les pigs. <laughs> Short, sharp one for that, please. The crystals never lie. You mean, like, like this? Correct. <laughs> now, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey there, Barry Slack, uh, with you, runs more dispensing, more joy for the jobless and info for the idle. Now, a busy airport's probably about the last place you penniless down and out as it expect to wind up. But if you can beat the neighbour's terrier three times out of five at Mahjong, there could be a job here tailor-made for you. I refer, of course, to the ancient art of airport announcing. Come with me. And here we are at the nerve centre of the whole shebang. Thousands of passengers milling around like sheep. They are at your mercy. And rule number one, always talk in a stupid voice. Observe. Air New Zealand announced the arrival of flight 546 from Hokitika. Now, listening to that every few seconds really starts to get on their wick. But to make matters worse, we bring rule number two into play. Always slur the vital information. This is the final call for flight... <laughs> I didn't hear what she said. I wonder if they'll repeat it. <laughs> Too right, they will. Flight <laughs> will be indefinitely delayed due to the late arrival of an incoming aircraft. It's actually not, but that'll keep him sweating for a while. <laughs> because all this gets a bit boring after a while, so why not spice it up a bit with some comedy? Let's look through the passenger list till we find someone with a really dopey and embarrassing name. <laughs> Here's one. What, Mr. Stout Gobbler, a passenger on flight 546, Mr. Stout Gobbler, please report to the passenger inquiries counter. Mr. Stout Gobbler, please. Thank you, dear. Be quiet. Be quiet. You see, the, the trick is to repeat the embarrassing name over and over again until its unfortunate owner is puced with embarrassment and everyone's watching the inquiries counter like hawks. Well, give him a few more seconds to get there, then destroy him with one final blast. <laughs> More laughs than a cartload of monkeys, and speaking of which, we'll be discussing the FOL as a career next week. <laughs> Introducing the Tattersfield Triple Support Gymnasts. A unique combination of large springs and high tensile end pieces. Thick padding and spongy extremities need support right up to the edges. Soft, thick and spongy, the Tattersfield Gymnasts. Ask your dealer for a demonstration. 
gentlemen, as I'm here tonight to talk to you about our country. Now, we're not a big country. We're not a powerful country. There are those who describe us as a flea on the backside of the international community, an ant scuttling around the global heap. Indeed, there are those who would call us worms, a worm wriggling helplessly through the compost of international affairs. But I, I am proud to be that worm because take away the ant from the heap, the worm from the compost. And both the heap and the compost are the poorer for it. And therefore I say, my fellow worms, let us wriggle merrily through the international garden. And let us make that garden flourish. Here is the time for people big and small. Thank you, Naomi. Life may be a little slower. Eat it, see a roar. But let us make this tiny little boast. We are the ones. We are the legends. And we will rig around the world to spread. Genius and traveling poet needs a drink. Take it away, Brian. Can't a time an Irish intellectual need for dark and the offers out there. And as a man of makeup, well, I'll give the world a shake up. But don't you dare forget your old mate, Rob. There is a time for a man. That love engine is really rather Natural into your body. <laughs> and this is gonna be good for you. Though you're black or white or brown, you can still have a life long. <laughs> Three million creepy crawlies in the pool. <laughs> Program. And we hope that we'll be back to normal next week.
After 12 years, a woman returns to her husband and child, anger, remorse and anxiety in running out.